I am Vikram Adve, I'm the Interim Head of Computer Science and I want to welcome all of you to the department, to the Siebel Center for Computer Science. This building houses the department, all the faculty, all the staff, all the students and the podium that moved. <laughs> um, first, I want to give a very warm congratulations to all of our graduates. Um, Computer Science at Illinois is a rigorous and really demanding program and finishing graduating is an accomplishment and you should be proud of yourselves. Um, and I also want to give a big thanks to the families of the students and for all of their support um, through the four years that you all have been here. Um, please give yourselves a big round of applause. Graduating from Illinois Computer Science automatically makes you a member of a highly distinguished and very uh, successful family of alumni who are among the most sought after computer science graduates in the world. And I don't think I'm exaggerating. Many companies come here to hire and we are among the most popular places or universities from where we like to hire computer science graduates and we constantly hear back from them that our students are extraordinarily well-trained, skilled, have a very solid understanding of computer science. And so we are very proud of the program and the kind of education we're able to impart here. And because of that, we know that you will be successful. We know that, that um, you are going to go out in the world and make your mark. As you do that, stay in touch. Keep us informed about what you're doing. You can uh, follow us on Facebook, you can follow our Twitter feed, um, but also keep us posted of, uh, for developments in your life, anything new that happens and all the kinds of things that you folks do as you go out there. And we would also love to see your graduation photos, so please put those up on Facebook and drop us a line. We would love to see those also. And you can post those um, on hashtag Illinois CS, sorry, Illinois 2018. Hashtag Illinois 2018 for graduates this year. Our alumni connect back with us through, in many ways, uh, one of the most popular ones is um, through alumni events that we hold in many parts of the country, especially in the uh, South Bay area in San Francisco and Chicago, occasionally New York City and Seattle. And if you're not able to make it through that, we also have a monthly newsletter for e-news, which we mail out every month to all of our alumni. So I hope you keep following that. And um, again, stay in touch. Another very useful thing that we would love to see is to have you come back and do, for example, a recruiting visit or a tech talk, because a lot of our alums go out to companies um, and then come back within the first two, three, four years uh, to recruit for their companies. And that's a wonderful way for us to continue to keep in touch with you. And uh, one last thing before you leave, we have some gifts for you down at the table at the far left there. So please make sure you pick up a gift from the department for you um, as a uh, memory of this graduation. Uh, that's all that I have to say. I um, would not, now like to introduce two very special people who are guests of ours here today. The first is Max Levchin, who's standing there with the CS of Illinois teacher. And the other is Jeff Magin Kalda. He is the CEO of the center. Let me start with Jeff, with Max. So Max, in 1997, was standing where you all are today. He was a graduate of this department. He got his Bachelor of Science degree here. Um, one little difference was that he had already tried to start four companies when he was here. He had a few failures, but then of course he went on and started a couple of other companies that many of you, many of you are probably quite familiar with. Um, his first one after leaving, I believe, was Pay, maybe not. The first one was PayPal. Um, so uh, the first one after he left here was PayPal. Um, most or all of the first group of employees at PayPal were all graduates of this department, essentially friends of Max who he knew very well. And that was the team that started the company. 
And that team was quite remarkable because uh, some of them went off and started Yelp. And in fact, Max was the chairman of Yelp later on. Uh, some others went off and started YouTube. And uh, all of that grew out of Max and his network. Max was the CTO of PayPal until it was bought by eBay in 2002. Um, the this, in 2004, he backed Yelp. In the same year, he founded Slide, a media sharing service that Google acquired in 2010. He has continued to be an active investor in, in several early stage startups and is now the CEO of Affirm. And Affirm is a company that's trying to do for the uh, credit processing industry what PayPal did for the payments industry, for the uh, consumer facing payments industry before this. But if you step back and think about this, we've had tens of thousands of, of students graduate from this department, um, many of whom have gone out and made their mark in the world. But I think it's fair to say that, that Max is among the very select few at, at the extreme top of that list. They've had a huge impact on hundreds of millions of people through the companies he's founded, through his philanthropies, through his advising and other activities. And it's not surprising that Max is in fact only the second computer science alum who has been invited back to be a commencement speaker for the University of Illinois in the 50 years that we have. Without further ado, let me uh, ask Max to come forward. quite a bit of time preparing for my earlier performance. <laughs> as a result, I'm going to have to extemporize now. Um, but um, one, I, everything I said and always say is true. I'm a huge fan, proud supporter, lifelong committed participant in CS at Illinois. I wore my CS at Illinois uh, shirt under the regalia for a reason. So. Um, Congratulations, you guys! You're 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 uh, you've done extremely well for yourself. I'm, I'm very proud of you. You can certainly be very proud of yourselves. Uh, you you already heard my uh, distilled advice on how to fail and how to not feel too bad about it earlier today. If you were at the, the main commencement, so I'll repeat myself there. Uh, but uh, just a couple of thoughts that um, I think may be slightly new. The one thing that makes this department special, and in fact this university special to me, which I think is sometimes often lost on, on people, and is certainly lost on a lot of other universities, a lot of other computer science departments, that you should not take for granted. In fact, you may find yourself slightly surprised. The work ethic that you get at this place, in part because of what it is and how special it is, and also because it is a gigantic publicly funded school, is unbelievable. It does not compare at all or more likely a degree from a almost any other institution that I've, I've hired hundreds and hundreds of computer science graduates, maybe thousands at this point. Most kids, and in my 40s I can maybe afford to say that at this point, don't quite know how to work hard. Like they go through the first couple of years of industry going, oh, well, wait a second, why is this so difficult? You, know, you, you think it's hard to do uh, homework and you know, machine problems, it's a day in and day out hard work out there. But if you love what you do, it, it's really great. And I, I still delight in all forms of computer science, as well as soft jazz. But, um, <laughs> but um, the, the punchline is, you, what you're taking with you is not just an amazing, high quality education, a great degree. The work ethic that you think just sort of comes naturally, you know, having to stay up all night and write a ton of code and do it again and debug, that is not something that everyone shares with you. You will not just out know, you will often out work folks out there. So take great pride in that. And it's a good thing. It, it's something that you should feel extremely good about. The only other thought that I sort of said at the, uh, the commencement, but uh, it bears repeating, keep in touch with each other. I, this is one of these things where if, if you were just starting here or if you have uh, younger siblings that are just starting here, do advise them to join department sponsored, department involved student groups. I was extremely active in ACM. I sort of spent a lot of time hanging out at the ACM office, but also ran one of the special interest groups, and that served my career purposes like nothing else. 
I ended up having hundreds of people I could call on and say, I know you're brilliant, I know you work extraordinarily hard, we have exactly the same set of classes so we can basically read each other's minds when it comes to writing code and splitting up work, let's start a company. And very few of those people said, oh, you know what, no thanks, I'm just finally too busy resting. And so the, the people, people that you met here, the ones you think are the really, really bright ones, Cherish those relationships. There's a lot of us out there, which is great. It's a big department, but there's not a lot like us out there. So take great pride in who you are, what you've done. Good luck, parents. Thank you for uh, what you put up with, because uh, we, we can't. Or these days, I'm kind of a parent more in your camp, perhaps, than the other way. But uh, I know I frustrated my parents by not visiting often enough because I had too much, uh, too much homework to do. But uh, you brought into the world a whole new generation of amazing computer scientists. So congratulations, and I'm super proud to be here, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. So uh, the super advanced machine learning system that we have running this building <laughs> seems to have decided that it needs to turn the music on. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea why, why that happened, I apologize. <laughs> Hopefully you can still hear the speakers. Um, so in 2016, our department, Computer Science of Illinois, began a online degree program, the Master of Computer Science degree, using a MOOC platform called Coursera from uh, a company that's quite well known now. And um, that degree launched in 2016, the first graduates from that program are here with us today. Uh, I think eight out of 15 of them are here. Can you raise your hand? Um, this is a, a, a landmark program. There are, the, we were only the second uh, Master of Computer Science degree, actually the second Computer Science degree of any kind on any MOOC platform. The first was Georgia Tech. And we are growing incredibly fast. We're really excited about this degree. And in recognition of this first graduating class, we have with us uh, the CEO of Coursera, Jeff Majinkalda, to say some brief words. I would like to invite Jeff to come up and say some brief words. Jeff joined Coursera as CEO in June 2017. Before he came to Coursera, Jeff spent 18 years as the founding CEO at Financial Engines Incorporated, an, an online investment advice provider. He was also, uh, he also worked as a consultant at McKinsey and & Company and Cornerstone Research and continues to serve as a director of Silicon Valley Bank. He holds an MBA from the Stanford Graduate School of Business. Jeff? Thank you. With great power comes great responsibility. And for most of my life, I thought that was an original quote from Uncle Ben. Turns out, I was a little heartbroken when I found it was actually from Voltaire. Nonetheless, it is more important now than I think it has ever been to, to really recognize uh, the, the spirit of that message. The world is changing more quickly today than it ever has in the past. And this is largely due to globalization and technology. Things like data, compute power, automation, and social media are profoundly impacting and accelerating the pace of our lives. And the bad news is that this technology threatens to increase inequality. It threatens to increase fear and outrage and social isolation. And it will displace hundreds of millions of people and their jobs that will be impacted and in some cases eliminated because of advances in technology. Now the good news is that technology holds great promise to create opportunity for millions and millions of people who never had the kinds of opportunity that will be available to people around the world in the coming years and decades. At Coursera, our mission is to transform lives through learning and technology is enabling us to deliver on this mission. And we're extremely fortunate to have partners like the College of Engineering at the University of Illinois who are also dedicated 
to using the promise of technology to make the best education in the world available to everyone in the world. And I think this is just a wonderful example of what that looks like. Two years ago, the College of Engineering and Coursera partnered to offer a new kind of online degree to a broader population of students. And as we celebrate your incredible accomplishment, I do want to recognize those intrepid pioneers who are the first graduating class on Coursera of the University of Illinois College of Engineering Master's of Computer Science program. Great job. I'd also like to, to thank the team at University of Illinois, particularly John Hart and the program team, the amazing faculty who taught the courses and put up with a lot of challenges and issues as we learn and scale this program, uh, college and campus leadership, and the course and team administrators who brought this program to life. And to you, the graduates, who will be the designers and builders of all of our futures, I ask you to use the incredible talent and knowledge that you now possess to try to make the world a better place with it. Thank you and congratulations on an amazing achievement class of 2018.